Uh, another day for us where nothing went our way. I mean, honestly, like our team, I think we outplayed them in most of the statistical categories. But uh, in the end, the key moments when super points were on, we kept losing. So the biggest takeaway, I would say, is our service has to be more consistent. We made a lot of service errors and we didn't have much reward for those mistakes. Many errors and no aces is not a good combination for a winning team. So I think winning the super points and trying to serve a little bit more consistently will be the biggest takeaway. I mean, we tried a completely different strategy. We went with a double substitution, so we played two setters and two opposites. So we always had a front row opposite playing or universal player. Uh, it worked out well for us. I think it was good at times. And then one of the rotations in set four, we decided not to go with that double sub. And uh, we ended up getting stuck for four points. So looking back, I wish we would have made that substitution earlier. So that's one thing I kind of fault myself on. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think our team fought super hard. I'm really proud of them. I think they're like, going in the right trajectory. It's just they haven't really had a chance to, to seal the deal. And so against Mumbai, it's like pressure's on. Thanks, Elaru, Bandu, support Mari Dake, Bandela, Tumba, like Tumba support Mari Dira. Thanks, next to 12th game match, Elaru Bandu, Ide Riti, support Mari. It's amazing it's been going on for this long. I mean, the amount of rule changes that have went down and how much evolution has changed in the sport and how much the sport's changed in general as far as how many crazy athletes like this guy are out there. I mean, people are flying now. It's like the sport's come to this crazy pinnacle and I'm really excited to see where it goes from here. Uh, on that note, this guy is the future of Indian volleyball. To be honest, he's gonna be the next star.